Hey everyone, what's up? Justin here once again with ATSAccessories.com. I'm here today to show you the new automatic transmission shifter control module coming out. And I uh, wanted to give you guys an overview of it. So far, uh, there is not a whole lot out there for automatic transmissions. And I know there are a lot of people out there that actually enjoy driving the autos from time to time or permanently because that's what they do in real life or whatever. And we all know there's plenty of options out there for uh, shift knobs and stuff like that. So this will be a nice option for people who want some realism driving the automatics. Uh, the first thing I will say, yes, there are different styles out there in real life of automatic uh, shifters. Um, I chose what I most commonly saw uh, when I drove and uh, kind of uh, obviously it's the, it's the best one I think to make for the game. Um, but, you know, everyone's going to have their different opinions. So I know there are different styles out there, but this is the one that I went with. And um, so the first thing I will show you is the uh, clicking on the button so you can get an idea of what that is like. They have a nice click to them, and it's a very shallow click like the ones in real life. You don't have to press down a whole lot. I'll let you listen to it here. And now I will bring up uh, the shift module and I will go over the buttons with you. These buttons are uh, the, they're labeled exactly as a real life shift module. Um, we'll start at the top. The top buttons are the only ones that are a little uh, weird. Um, every label on here is a button. None of them are just there for show. Um, monitor on the right is in real life. Uh, those buttons are you select and monitor are used for menu and uh, going over diagnostics, it'll flash diagnostic codes for the truck. Uh, ATS and ETS2 obviously do not have that function. So, but luckily, monitor and select are pretty vague terms. You can use those buttons for whatever you see fit. Uh, you could use select for your activate. Um, you could use, I mean, select you could use for almost anything. Um, monitor, you could use for GPS monitor. You could use it for uh, your dashboard monitor, your dashboard display mode. Um, there's different things you could do with that. They are functional buttons, but that's up to you what you use them for. Um, we'll go down to mode. The mode uh, I am using, through my testing, I've been using it as switching between automatic and sequential, which if you guys don't know what sequential is, sequential allows you to manually change gears um i actually used it using hauling a heavy load uh through a very hilly area in the game and it actually came in very good handy i switched to sequential and then i could use these up and down arrows to uh switch the gears up and down and then once i was past the area i hit mode again and automatic takes back over and it puts you where uh it puts the truck in what gear it wants to be in so that's what I'm using it for. Um, you could also use uh, the up and down arrows as shift up hint and shift down hint. I will show you those in the settings here in just a few minutes. Um, and how to kind of set this up for in-game use also. It's, it's really simple, but I will show it to you. Um, if we go over to the left, we have reverse at the top, neutral in the center, and drive at the bottom. And... Um, that's pretty self-explanatory what those do. <laughs> um, and the screen in the middle at the top, just like a real one, um, it is going to switch between N for neutral, R1 for reverse, and D for drive. Now, um, I know it would have been cool to have it monitor what gear you're in and switch with that in the game, but the game does not communicate uh, that way with uh, products. Um, there's there's literally no way to do it. The only way the game could communicate with anything, like on Sim Dashboard, is through a tablet, like through a uh, an application, a website kind of uh, internet connection thing, um, which is why Sim Dashboard can do that. Um, it's not possible through these. We've tried, we've looked into it left and right, it's not possible. So, um, the way it works, uh, as you'll see here, is you hit D, it switches to... Uh, D for drive, and R1 for reverse, and N for neutral, um, and it does that based on the buttons you hit, so when you plug it in, it's going to default to neutral, which is what you start in when you get in the truck in the game, 
and as you drive and you switch reverse drive neutral whatever um, the screen will follow right along with what you're doing when you hit the buttons so it's gonna be the same thing basically um, now the only way it's gonna be uh, different is if you are out of the game or in the menu and you hit drive or reverse and then you go back into the game it's gonna be mismatched um, but um, if it happens it shouldn't but if it happens to get mismatched all you gotta do is pause the game um, and hit D for drive and for neutral whatever you happen to be in and then uh, resume the game that's it so um, but yeah I'm gonna show you some gameplay footage here um, and uh, as you can see here also it's got two mounting holes one on the bottom left one on the top right I thought the two mounting holes was all this needed um, I use it uh, not even mounted to the desk I just use it sitting up there and it does just fine but it does have that it has a single USB right here coming out of the back um, and let's see like i said these are coming out friday february 25th at 8 a.m they'll be live on the site for 99.99 um and when you compare that to a shift knob that only has two or three buttons on it <laughs> this one you get eight buttons on in the screen and um so it seems like a pretty good price for a shifter uh, just a different just a different style of shifter um, but yeah, I'm going to go into the game here and show you some in-game use just so it makes more sense. Uh, forgive my screen recording. It's going to be just a camera set up behind me because I have triple monitors and trying to record on NVIDIA, uh, you know, screen recording through that is difficult because it, if it does record all three screens, it's a very incorrect resolution for YouTube and, uh, that's even if it records a lot of times it will start recording and it will on its own stop recording halfway through so <laughs> so yeah i'm just gonna do it this way but yeah here it is guys and here we are in the game and i will show you um how to set it up i'll bring up the camera here showing the shift module and uh, once you plug it in, like I said, it's going to, by default, show neutral on the screen. You're going to come into the game. Uh, well, first, run your input wizard. Uh, so, game, controls, input wizard right down here. Run it. Make sure it's going to be selected up here as one of your game controllers. Um, this will be labeled uh, through your USB as auto shifter. And then you're going to come down here, and when you're going through your input wizard, it'll run you through this, but you want to select Real Automatic for the transmission. And if you come down to H Shifter Setup, even though you're not doing an H Shifter, you come down here, it's going to have Automatic Gearbox Drive, Automatic Gearbox Reverse. So just like any other button, you're going to click on that, and drive because the way these programs are buttoned you're gonna have to hit it twice just like that and the programs and reverse same thing hit it twice when programming it and you notice if you hit it twice it goes back to end it'll say D for drive you hit it again it'll go back to neutral so and uh, if you go to keys and buttons Right here at the top, you'll see shift to neutral. You can use that for your neutral button. That one you only have to hit once. And then there is shift down for this button and shift up for this one, obviously. And if you look right below that, you got gearbox switch automatic slash sequential. That's what I use for mode. Now there is right here, shift up hint and shift down hint. Don't get the hints confused with shift up and shift down. Uh, shift up hint and shift down hint are for if you are in completely automatic, not sequential mode, um, and you're going up a hill or something and it just will not change gears um, because it needs the RPMs or whatever and you want it to go ahead and do it, you just hit up or down. Um, I don't use those, I use the shift up and shift down. So yeah, that's basically all there is to set up. We'll go in here, and we'll do a little bit of driving. 
just to show you in game exactly what it does. Go ahead and start our truck up. And we are in the Cascadia, so we got the digital display. And I don't know if you can see it on the screen, but right down here it shows N for neutral. And if I switch to reverse, you'll hear the beeping and it'll say R1, just like on the screen here. Go back to neutral. And if you go into drive, it's going to show you on the screen, on the truck screen, it's going to show you what gear you're in. On the box here, it'll only show D for drive. So go back to neutral. So, let's see, what do we got here? Okay, I'm hooked up. So I'm going to drop this trailer. I will go to drive. You can see that gets you into completely automatic. I'm in seventh gear right now. It, sw it switches itself. And then for backing up, you just hit reverse. And you will back up just so it works exactly how you think it would. But okay, we're backed up. We're going to go back into neutral. I'm going to hook my trailer back up. And I will show you uh, the switching between automatic and sequential. So we're going to go into drive. And this is plain everyday automatic right now. Let me angle this down, maybe you can see it switching between gears a little bit easier there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Okay, so we are in 10th gear right now. If I, if I hit mode and go into sequential, I'm now in sequential. I can go up to 11, back down to 10 down to 9, which would increase my RPM, so let's say I go back to automatic. Oh look, I'm on a hill. Heavy load. <laughs> I need the extra RPMs. Hit mode. Shift down. Go down a gear. Go down another gear. And your RPMs will go up. So that's when it's useful. So that's kind of a good example right there. So I want those high RPMs to stay there through this hill climb. See in automatic mode it would be trying to shift me up right now and that would make me lose power. So overall I would lose speed. And it would probably end up downshifting me back anyway. So I will get to the top of this hill. And now we can shift up. And we'll hit mode now that we're back on flat ground and go right back into automatic. And it just took me into 11th because that's where the gear, or that's where the truck wants to be. So, I'll get pulled over right here. So yeah, that is pretty much it guys. Um, I hope you guys like it. Like I said, it will be February 25th at 8 a.m. They will be live on the site. They will be inventory only. Um, and so... Um, I'm going to make a batch of probably 10 of them to release and I'll see how they do. And I will try to keep up on uh, keep up on them to keep them in stock. If for any reason they do run out of stock, just give it a little bit of time. I'll have them back on there. Um, but they will be next day shipping. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I wanted to give you an overview of it and um, I hope you guys like it. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.